So my name's Mark Jaddaff, I'm an emergency department physician here at the Royal Cornwall Hospital. So the emergency department uh, here at Royal Cornwall Hospital has been trying to tackle sepsis for some years. Uh, we've been uh, trying to do it with audits and then putting some interventions in place and then auditing again. Uh, and we've had a whole range of different uh, interventions over, over the last few years. We've, we've uh, tried doing sepsis rounds and walking around with uh, our senior teams um, to look for areas that we could improve the care for patients with sepsis. We've put in place sepsis trolleys, uh, stocked with fluids and antibiotics. Um, we've brought in all sorts of ideas from other centres who have done really well with it before. And nothing really seemed to fit the bill. Nothing was really um, uh, scratching where it itched and getting us to a better level of performance, uh, which would then be sustained. So last year, we decided to try a quality improvement project um, using QI methodology, using the PDSA cycle approach. Um, and through this model of improvement, we started to really study what it was about sepsis that we weren't really getting. Um, we had a consistency to our measurement, uh, which we hadn't had before. And uh, it was really through that, through that approach that we began to understand some of the things that were stopping our, uh, our frontline staff delivering the care they really wanted to deliver. So for example, um, we noticed that our triage nurses had uh, been identifying sepsis uh, very early on in the patient's pathway. When the patient was brought in on an ambulance trolley, perhaps even the ambulance crew were saying, I'm concerned this patient has sepsis. But our triage nurses weren't finding it that they were able then to communicate that to someone who was going to be able to deliver the sepsis six care bundle. So what we had to do was we had to work with them to develop new communication strategies with the people who actually would be able to deliver the antibiotics and the fluids, be able to put in the cannulae, take the blood cultures and the lactate um, levels. So it was simple things like that, but the things that actually were in the way of our staff giving the care that they needed. How did we find that out? Well, part of that was really by uh, asking our frontline staff to get involved in the quality improvement project itself. So we set up a team um, that included our triage nurses, our rapid assessment nurses, uh, our senior nurses on the shop floor, and our senior doctors as well. And through that, uh, that core sepsis improvement group here in the emergency department, we began to understand what it was, that the where the problems really lay. In fact, one of, uh, one of the weeks in our PDSA cycles, we actually gave our frontline nurses charts to fill in about how they were performing that day with their sepsis patients. Were they excluding within the sort of time frame that they wanted to exclude uh, sepsis? Were they delivering antibiotics within the hour of arrival? Were they delivering fluids within the hour of arrival? And through uh, immediate audit like that, where the person who is actually delivering the care gets involved with measurement, we started to really understand what it was that was the block uh, and, the, and the problem. So, by doing that, we started really making a difference. We started seeing our graphs going up. And then about November last year, uh, 2018, we saw a huge rise in, um, in the graphs of percentages of patients who were getting the one hour antibiotics and one hour fluids. And that was really a, cum a culmination of some of the things that were really, that were standing in the way, such as that communication from the triage nurse to um, somebody who could deliver the care. We had to resource the person who could deliver the care. So we had a sepsis nurse at the rapid assessment team, uh, or the um, triage nurse would go to the senior doctor uh, and get results that way. So uh, there were those, that culmination of things together made our graph suddenly go up. Now sustaining that kind of improvement has been what we've been about over the last six months. Um, we've seen that as crowding in the emergency department happens, we find it much more difficult to, to follow the, the practices that we want to practice. Um, however, uh, we've been able to work with our staff through that time and we've seen an improvement from 50% of patients with severe sepsis getting the, the care within one hour of arrival and that's gone up to 70%, so that's a 20% increase in absolute terms and we have sustained that over the last six months. So that's a real improvement to our patients' care and actually one that a lot of hospitals around the country have really struggled to, to produce. So we're really, really proud of our staff. We're proud of the quality improvement journey that they've been on. And, uh, and we hope 
that over the coming year, we're going to see a further increase as we roll out the model for improvement further through our sepsis improvement group.